Hey weirdos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay, for those of you that are new here, and for those of you that are not new here, thanks for sticking around even when I don't post for a few weeks, you know what I'm saying? If you're wondering why I'm not wearing makeup, it's because I'm going to be testing something pretty freaking cool, okay? I went to Walmart last week like I typically do every week because that's just my place. I don't know about you. So I was looking through their clearance section like I typically do if you can't tell I'm a clearance gal. They had like three little like bucket things of makeup and I was like, Ugh, my god. I up a couple things but when I first went there I found this product in my shade and when I went back to actually go get it, it didn't have my shade. So this is what I got. I got Sally Hansen's Airbrush Face Makeup Lightweight Spray Foundation for all skin types, oil-free, in the shade 240 Soft Honey. <laughs> I'm also wearing a shirt that says, I still live with my parents. So, just wanted to throw that out there. I've never used a spray foundation. I don't know about you guys. I know like Dior or whatever, some fancy brand has it. Um, so, I'm not trying to ruin this because like... That was a gift. So I'm gonna like sit up and like just hope for the best. I'm not very good at planning things out or organizing things or doing things. So yeah, that is why I'm not wearing makeup because I'm testing this out and I'm gonna put my hair up. And honestly, I'm not trying to ruin my hair. So I have a bag. <laughs> I hate myself. Um, what I do have to say is don't mind the shade difference because it could be a very good product formula wise, but it's gonna look funny because it's not my shade. So let's just give it a second because it's gonna look funny at first. I guarantee I'm gonna look like a spray tan, probably. But to give this product a fair chance, I'm gonna put on a little bit of primer. For primer, I'm using Too Faced, um, their Hangover Primer. My camera keeps going in and out of focus. I kind of like messed up the settings and I need to fix that. It's been a while since I filmed, so bear with me, please. And I just got a tripod. I just got my own tripod. Um, I was using, like, books and my stool and random stuff in my room. But I went to Walmart the same day I got this. And I got a tripod for 14 something, like 15 bucks. And it's, like, 50 inches. So it can get pretty, it can get pretty tall. So you can definitely hear it. Like, it's definitely, like, spray can. I'm going to test it on my hand first because I'm going to cheat a little bit. Okay, let's see. I'm scared. I don't like sudden things that just like... <laughs> it's not even working. I have to like twist it or something? Help me! I don't understand though. I don't want to squirt it in my eye. <laughs> I hate myself. Oh, do you hear it? <gasps> ah! So this is what the shade looks like after I rubbed it in with my hands. So it definitely looks like a spray tan, but honestly this is like my summer shade, but without like the orange undertone. <laughs> So, I'm going to put this bag over my head, okay? We're going to do this step by step. TJ Maxx, sponsor me. Please, I need a sponsor. <laughs> Between TJ Maxx and Walmart, like if one of them doesn't sponsor me, I'm going to throw up all over myself. Oh, I am a chef. You need something cooked for you. I have eggs and I have bacon. <laughs> I really don't want this to get all over like my stuff. I'm going to scoot up a little bit and let's just zoom you guys in because... You gotta know which- oh, sorry. Oh god, my skin. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm scared. Like, this is gonna get my eyebrows. Like, I don't understand spray foundation because, like, it gets in your eyebrows. It gets, like, on your lip. Like, I don't understand. This Chef Lindsay does not understand, but we're gonna go for this. Okay, ready? Ah, I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna do my forehead first. I'm really scared. I hate, like, sudden things. Like, things that, like, pop. Like, not to be gross, but, like, zits or, like, balloons popping. Like, I love balloons, but when they pop, Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh, ah! Ah! I'm scared. Okay, okay, hold on. It's like really hard to press too. So if we're like really rating this product, it's like a 1.5 right now. Because it squirts, but it's, it's hot. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, it's dripping. Ah! Oh god, it's getting more on the bag than my forehead. Either I have bad aim or this is like squirting really weird. Okay. Do I look beautiful yet? Oh no, I don't like this. Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells like perfume and spray paint. I'm gonna just go for it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh 
my god, help me! Help me! <laughs> I know it's not my shade! Oh, my face is turning red. Hello. Hello. Would you like to go to the show with me? I look like the inside of a pumpkin. Like that goop. I call it goop. I don't know what you guys call it, but the inside of a pumpkin, I look like goop. Got smeared on my face. We're gonna keep going though. Lindsay, you're not dedicated to your channel. I'm a YouTuber. You know what I am, but look at this dedication. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna take my eagle tools. <laughs> See, this is a problem. If I got the right shade, it wouldn't look as bad, and I would just be focusing on the formula. But, like, it's so distracting to have orange on my face. Just gonna pat it in. If we're gonna look at the formula, let me look really close. Um, again, I'm gonna look in the viewfinder, so just don't mind me. Um... It definitely, it's not full coverage. <laughs> it's definitely something like, I feel like spray foundation is meant for like the summer or people who don't have skin problems like me. I mean, granted, you can't see the redness and like acne in my face, but that's because it's fucking orange. Um, if I got it in the shade Fair, I'm sure it would show slightly. So I think it's like a sheer to like, almost like, I would say sheer to medium coverage. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious and it's so hard because of this. The formula actually doesn't feel that bad. It actually feels very, very lightweight. Booger. <laughs> what is my channel? What is happening? I don't post for three weeks and I'm like, hello. Let's just move on. Can we move on from this? Or is this gonna be awkward in our relationship for a long time? You guys have seen worse from me, so. Even though this isn't my shade, the formula actually feels fine. The only thing that I can tell is, even though this went on orange, if you can't tell already, it already has oxidized a lot. It looks way more orange now than when I first put it on. So, to be fair with this product, I'm gonna try and put on some concealer, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and we're gonna see how other makeup sits on top of it. Okay, so honestly, it sits, this is freaking me out, guys, because this is actually, like, not bad. It's just not my shade. But I do think it does oxidize, so if you're going to get this, I would get, like, um, a few shades. I would get a shade or two lighter. But honestly, like, it's, my makeup sits fine on top of how it sits. I feel like if I did a full face of makeup on top of this, I would basically just be trying to cover up the fact that it's not my shade, and I don't really want to trick you guys. It doesn't look that powdery or anything. It actually looks good. Like, this is freaking so, me out. So, my final review for the Sally Hansen spray foundation is that the formula actually isn't bad. It feels very... I mean, I haven't worn this all day, so I don't know how strong it is. But five scale, like one being the worst and five being the best, I would have to say this is like a solid... I would say it's like a solid 2.5 because the oxidizing throws me off a lot. Like, yes, granted, this is not my skin tone by any means. And I definitely need to go back and try, like, the fair one and, like, let you guys know on my Snapchat. But I think the formula is very lightweight. I think it'd be good if you don't have a lot of skin issues or if you do and you just want to wear something for the summer. And you can use, like, concealer and powders on top of it if you want more coverage. Um, I definitely think it's not bad. I just think that they don't have a big shade range, which I don't like at all, so that's points off. And I think more points off because it oxidizes. So I'm going to have to stick with 2.5 because I can't stand when brands that have a bunch of money don't put money into different shades. But, um... Overall, the formula is great. It's actually not bad. That's it for my video today, guys. Thank you, weirdos, so, so much for watching. I know it's a short video, but I thought it would be really, really fun and interesting. It's cool to try stuff like this. Let me know down in the comments below if you want me to try any other weird makeup or just any weird products, and I will buy them, and I will try them for you guys. Thank you, weirdos, so, so much for watching. I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you for supporting me in everything that I do, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!